So, it's no secret that I'm very fond of Ubuntu Touch. I've made several videos about it already, and I honestly think it's the best option for mobile Linux right now, as well as quite possibly one of the best smartphone operating systems on the market. Now, one of the problems that's facing mobile Linux, or really any competitor to Android and iOS, is that at the moment there's a lack of app availability. It's sort of a cat and mouse type situation whereby the developers don't want to port their apps to certain platforms and people don't want to switch to certain platforms because there are a few recognizable apps and I think desktop Linux has much the same problem at the moment too. Now personally I think that Ubuntu Touch has one of the best solutions to this problem and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video right now on the Linux Lounge. Now, one of the coolest things about Ubuntu Touch is that if you go into their app store, you'll see all sorts of recognizable apps. For instance, on my Ubuntu Touch device, I have Twitter and Duolingo, to name a few. And there are many, many more well-known names on the Ubuntu Touch app store. Now, you might ask, how is this possible? Especially given operating systems like Sailfish OS don't even have these well-known apps. Well, Ubuntu Touch puts web apps at the heart of everything, but not in an obnoxious way like Chrome OS, because Ubuntu Touch does indeed have its own native apps too. So if developers want to develop for Ubuntu Touch as it grows, they can, and many developers do. But if developers are unwilling to develop for Ubuntu Touch, well, we can just very easily use the web versions of the app, and that's really cool. Now. You might ask, what exactly does this tight integration with web apps do for Ubuntu Touch that can't be done on other operating systems? Well, it's not impossible to do this on other operating systems, but Ubuntu Touch really integrates web apps well, and it makes them really easy to use. You can download pre-configured web apps from the App Store and start using it like any other app. It's simple enough that anyone could do it, really. No configuration needed. Additionally, web apps don't show any browser UI elements or anything, so they'll be completely indistinguishable distinguishable from a native app. Compare that to the implementation of web apps on other platforms and it's clear to see that Ubuntu Touch does them really, really well. Now, another thing that you might ask is why would I want to use a web app? Aren't they just slow, junk, whatever? Well, mainly because oftentimes they really are just indistinguishable from a normal app and they really do bring a lot of apps to Ubuntu Touch. For instance, the Twitter web app looks almost identical to the native phone app and works pretty much the same way too. And with modern internet speeds, performance is pretty great as well. So I think for a vast majority of people, web apps are going to be absolutely fine. And I think that's really what they're designed for. I don't foresee tech-savvy people such as myself making heavy use of web apps, and indeed I don't make heavy use of web apps, but I can see it going a long way to bring in people who are less tech-savvy and perhaps need proprietary software that's only available on Android and iOS. You know, they can go onto the Ubuntu Touch App Store and grab it as a web app, and I have to say that really is very handy if you need a particular program that you can't get natively. And generally speaking, most sites do have a web version of some description. And an advantage to using those web apps is they take up much less space and they aren't constantly running on your phone. So in that way, it's really handy. Great for people who aren't super tech savvy and great for people who are just kind of using it so it doesn't bloat up their phone with proprietary junk. So all in all, I've got to say web apps are pretty cool and they probably will bring over a lot of less tech savvy users. So that's it for today's video. It might seem like a slightly different thing to talk about for this channel, and I'm not necessarily saying that web apps are great. In fact, not running software locally on your device isn't great at all, but I do feel like web apps are gonna be great for people who just need to run one or two proprietary programs here and there, and I think they're gonna be especially great for sort of new users who wanna come over to Ubuntu Touch, but still need the proprietary apps that they're used to. And I think in the long run, this is really gonna help Ubuntu Ubuntu Touch grow. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit rambly, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.